Dome of Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. <clears throat> now I'm a little upset, you know what I'm saying, with the Ravens, Lamar Jackson. I was hoping he would go a little bit further, right? Anybody blaming that game only on Lamar Jackson must didn't watch it, right? Those first three or four possessions, all that that went down, everything that could go wrong did go wrong. Murphy's Law in here, but I ain't going to talk football. Kind of, kind of pissed me off a little bit, but it is what it is because I like your boy, even if I like the Bills doing what they're going to do too. You know what I'm saying? But in boxing, something that's happening that's under the radar that I'm trying to check out a little bit and nobody's saying nothing about it, so I guess I will have to. In the middleweight division, the WBO, right? WBO has uh, basically ordered the fight between Demetrius Dandre, the champion, and his and mandatory challenger, uh, Leon Williams. Leon Williams got uh, 23 and 2 with 18, 18 Ks old, right? Bad boy. But actually, I don't think the WBO should be mandating nothing when it comes to Demetrius Andre. <clears throat> because bottom line is this this is boxing royalty, right? It is. The WBO has too many, they know too much to be mandating them, you know, this man. What they should be doing is saying, okay. In lieu of the fact that his mandatory, his first mandatory, which is Jaime Munguia, and they don't want to mention that, his mandatory did not want to fight him, right? Now we have to take the next guy, which is Leon Williams. Leon Williams is okay, but you shouldn't be coming. We got to mandate, man, mandate you to fight him, and you got 14, 15 days to, to get a contract. You shouldn't talk to this man like that. If so, every article, wherever it's written, make sure it's, it's clear. His mandatory did not want to fight him, and his mandatory is someone that's 35 and old with 28 KOs, and that's Jaime Munguia. And Jaime Munguia is allowed to not even fight him, and no one is saying anything about it. There is where my issue is. It, you know, and then he can go say, hey, I'd rather fight uh, Janina Golovkin, right? Sounds just like little man Devin Haney, lightweight, right? He's the WBC champ. Ryan Garcia is his mandatory, right? They even had an elimination fight to become his mandatory. Now, Ryan Garcia can holler at Javante Tank Davis, right? Same thing, you know, it's like, hey, a cool name that will get you off the point that I didn't really want to fight the champion. I'm the mandatory. I'm supposed to want to fight the champion. Then we could do other stuff. Ryan Garcia shouldn't get away with that either, right? It's like, hey, but, but the name that he's calling ain't bad, right? Javante Davis ain't a bad name. Janati Golovkin ain't a bad name. I'll give you another example. Uh, uh, Canelo Alvarez could have had an undisputed fight with your boy, Demetrius Andre. He called a name, you know, two weight divisions up. Kovalev got a name. Distracted everybody from the, from the fact that he could have fought undisputed. We called another name. You look, ooh, who can I call? But the bottom line is you didn't want to fight Demetrius Andre. Or in Ryan Garcia's case, I ain't trying to fight Devin Haney. I'm the mandatory. The mandatories are supposed to fight the champions. Sometimes, right? Sometimes. We do it sometimes. That's how that's, that works, right? Lomachenko, when he was the champion, he had to fight Devin Haney as a mandatory. He was allowed to get this new franchise belt, right? All right? So where are we with the mandatories, right? When the mandatory wants to fight the champion, a la Devin Haney, he can't do it. Lomachenko is allowed to go fight somewhere else, right? Isn't that, for, isn't that right now? Think about it. But now when he's the champion, his mandatory don't have to fight him. Don't even have to look his direction. Right? Canelo did the same thing with Charlo. I ain't fighting no Charlo. I'm going to get a franchise belt. Right? Boom. I ain't got to fight Charlo. But, oh, Yildirim is the mandatory. I got to fight. I got to fight. Right? So sometimes the mandatory is important. Sometimes they're not. And that, that shouldn't be that way. Either it should be mandatory or not. These two guys... Devin Haney and Demetrius Andre were the keys to undisputed and they were being ignored. If uh, Teofimo Lopez won some right now, we could have undisputed and lightweight and it wouldn't be disputed at all, right? But people are not trying to act like Devin Haney is nothing. Everybody's negotiating uh, other stuff. Ryan Garcia wants Javante Davis. That's his mandatory. I can't get that. The undisputed guy could be undisputed by fighting me. Teofimo Lopez won't fight anybody else except him. Right? Uh, Bob Arum's talking about Ryan Garcia. Bob Arum's talking about anybody. They would think about Cambosis, right? Who is his mandatory, right? All of a sudden, his mandatory is important. But 
uh, Devin Haney's isn't. Hey, boxing world is all over the place with this stuff. It's all over the place with this stuff, right? It's all over the place with this stuff. This this franchise title. Let me tell you something. Solomon not being able to explain the franchise title is an attest to the haste in which it was made, right? It was made so hastily that he didn't even have an explanation, a definition of it. And he kept changing the definition. Hey, it's not transferable, it's just a trophy, right? But it's no matter where you look, right? No matter where you look in, in any ranking, all of a sudden it's over there, franchise title. We talking about Teofimo Lopez is undisputed now. Just months after they just made this thing to avoid Charlo and Haney. Now it's mentioned everywhere. Now everybody's acting as if they're confused because they can. The selective ignorance, right? You look at any mainstream, anything mainstream. These people who are supposed to know about boxing, they act like they don't know why this was made and, and what's up with it. Right? It was made to avoid these two brothers. Right? And we ain't going to give them the opportunity to get it. And we're going to keep mentioning it. The dude, you know, who got it now, Teofimo, he's got it. And now the real belts are less significant. They will call it insignificant. Right? All of a sudden. And that's the stuff that, you know, it kind of just gets on your nerves when you're looking at, at boxing. I'm just one uh I always like to mention these guys with Demetrius Andrade or Devin Haney. They are part of the Negro League. Uh, you know, the Negro League fighters I talk about all the time. And what I mean by that is just fighters who are not getting the opportunity to be great. You know, like a Terrence Crawford. If you think about it, Terrence Crawford, oh, we can't sell him, we can't do this. Yeah, if you were to let Pacquiao fight him four years ago, he'd be a household name, the dude who beat Manny Pacquiao, right? But we ain't giving him an opportunity to do that. And matter of fact, shoot, we ain't putting my Pacquiao in there with him. So now we can still say, hey, you know, he hasn't fought nobody major. Like he wasn't trying to. Demetrius Andre and Haney the same way. Haney could be in an undisputed fight with Teofimo Lopez right now. Who, Teofimo Lopez is winning all the accolades. Fighter of the year, young fighter of the year, all this stuff. But your boy Devin Haney don't get an opportunity to fight Teofimo Lopez to measure himself against that. And we could say he's some kind of style. We always got these styles. This could be this style or that style. And they forget just because somebody's not a knockout puncher, uh, you, you, you would mention it. But you got to ne never forget this. We're in the time of Tyson Fury, the biggest guy out there that's also not a knockout guy. And we love him, right? So therefore, the hell with that. Bottom line is this. The WBO orders uh, Andre to fight Liam Williams. Cool. But mention the fact that his real mandatory doesn't want none. Right? That's very important. And Devin Haney, everybody around him, his mandatory won't fight him. And the, the undisputed fight won't fight him, so we can't blame him. Force them to fight Devin Haney. He's the real lightweight champion. I know I'm sick of seeing things like this. The question is, we should all be, or are you, is the question. But bottom line is, the statement is, we should all be a little bit upset about how this stuff, because it's getting too blatant, you know, of mandatory, is it important or not? Let's get answer those questions, right? Let's answer those questions. Dome Sports Talk Worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.